Please, yeah. Brooks. You're my best driver. I can't afford you to just quit cold turkey on me. Boss, to be honest, I've been in this business doing this for a very long time. I, I'm really kind of getting tired of this sort of shit. J just finish out this last shift and we'll talk, all right? Fine. Well, we can't just do what I want to do. Look, we never do what I want to do. Where to, miss? No, I don't understand what your problem Look, is. Can you just stop? Ma'am, ma'am, where to? I'm on the phone. Just take me to South Street. Jesus. All right. Really? This is really draining. You've I'm got not to be kidding Jesus. me. Jesus. And no, I'm coming you to know what? for the weekend. I don't know what your problem is. Yeah. God. You really You're over unbelievable. Both arguments. Yeah, bye. Where are we? Look, this is uh, South Street, miss. I live nowhere near South Street. Look, ma'am, you told me to take you to South Street. This is South Street. Stop the car, I have to get out here. Look, all right, the fare is $45, miss. $45? Yeah, you look, know what? I just go by what the meter tells yeah, me. Yeah, okay. Here, just, just take your money. Oh, and I'll be uh, filing a complaint with your company. Look, have a nice evening. Are you serious? She shorted me $25. Yeah. All right, look, I'll be there tonight. Good evening, ma'am. I'm your cab driver for this evening. May I please take your luggage? Thank you so much. Before we depart, would you care to come in for a cup of tea? Sure, I'm, I'm not really on the schedule right now. Wonderful. Please, come in. I insist. The tea is almost ready. Uh, miss, would you like some help? Oh, please, call me Pearl. This is where I got my first job. I was a hotel hostess. I actually met my husband while working. It was actually quite funny. <laughs> he had dropped his room key into the toilet. <laughs> it was such an embarrassing day for him. I convinced my boss not to charge him extra for the key. I used to come here every day when I was young. I would write in my journal every day after school. For the longest time, I thought I wanted to write children's books. Did you ever write a book? You know, I, I think I did, but I could never get it published. 
day I got married was the best day of my life. This is the church we were married in. We were both so happy. What was your husband's name? Donald. Donald Rutherford II. He was so handsome. I miss him so much. I'm sure he's very proud of you. You'll be happy when you see him again. Thank you, young man. Thank you for listening to an old lady's life story. <laughs> but I'm very tired now. Let's leave. Uh, could you please take me to this place? Uh, Pearl, this is all the way on the other side of town. Uh, I mean, it could take a while. That's fine. I, I'm in no hurry. How much do I owe you for the ride, young man? Oh, Pearl, don't worry about that. This one's on me. No, young man, you have to make a living. Uh, don't worry about that. There'll be other customers. <sighs> you gave an old woman a little moment of joy. Thank you. eyes were open. This glimpse of a life ending in such a subtle and beautiful way it was so rare to see. I'm glad I was the one that got the help of though, and not another cab driver. Thank you, Pearl. <laughs>